For the truly cultured among us, we know that Aerith is best girl in Final Fantasy VII. Thankfully, in FF7 Rebirth, you can now romance her in greater fidelity. Here's the step-by-step -step guide to ensure your trips to the Gold Saucer end in the right way, in the arms of a flower girl. We have an overview video on how to increase relationship levels already, so if you're unfamiliar with how the relationship system works in Rebirth, I would recommend checking that one out first before we get more specific to Aerith. I knew I could count on you. Basically, Aerith needs to be the most favored person in your party, and you need to have a relationship symbol in the dark blue by the time you reach the big date in Chapter 12 at the Gold Saucer to get a standard date, and light blue to get the intimate version of that date. To do this, follow these steps. Number 1. Pick the right conversation answers. During downtime at particular moments, you'll have a chance to talk to your party members and choose one of three responses in conversation. There's no way to lose points, but there is a best response, a good response, and a bad response, so choose the best to make the most out of this important moment. The conversations and correct answers are as follows. In Chapter 2 in Calm, on the little deck to the right of the inn as you walk out of it, choose Sure. Let's. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! In Chapter 4, in the inn inside her room, choose You Shoved a Flower at Me. You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. In Chapter 6, when walking along the beach, choose They're Just Thoughts. They're just thoughts. Let them be dark and ugly. In Chapter 9, after speaking to a couple important to Aerith, choose They Didn't Seem to Mind. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. In Chapter 10, when she looks to you during a speech, choose Encourage Her. It's okay. <laughs> In Chapter 11, staring at the window from the tower, choose Sounds Like Something I'd Do. Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. If you happen to have chosen wrong on some of these, thankfully, there are more ways to increase your relationship. Let's take a look at these now. You're too hard on yourself. I heard you might need some help. You did? Number two, do Aerith side quests. You're paired up with another party member for all your side quests, and completing them will increase your relationship with that character. Each quest has various levels of completion as well, so make sure to do everything available, and keep a save right before attempting it in case you don't get the exact result you want, and check our walkthrough on IGN.com if you need more help. A perfectly completed side quest will have a gold star next to it on the quest menu. Here are all of Aerith's side quests. For Grasslands, Flowers from the Hill, two in Junon, Stuck in a Rut and Beneath Still Waters, one in Corel, Rendezvous in Costa del Sol, Two for Gungaga, The Spice of Life and Woodland Vigil, and one for Cosmo Canyon, Absence of a Sign. Number three, Story Beats. Within the main quest, there are three opportunities to increase your relationship level with Aerith before the Gold Saucer date in Chapter 12. First, you should strive to win the Junon Inauguration Parade. You can give yourself a better shot at this by making sure to find all of the 7th Infantry members to perform in a higher scoring parade. We have a full video dedicated to just that as well. Then in Costa del Sol, make sure that Cloud and Aerith have the same taste in swimsuits. Basically, this means matching how revealing their swimsuits are. If you choose Ocean Chocobo for Cloud, you should choose Floral Delight for Aerith. And if you choose Wild Surf for Cloud, you should choose Pink Mermaid for Aerith. Also in Costa del Sol, there will be a story beat where your party will split up and you'll have to choose who to join in battle. Either Aerith and Barret, or Tifa and Red. Obviously, make sure you choose Aerith and Barret here. Number 4. Synergy Skills and Abilities Another way to boost your relationship with Aerith is to use all of her and Cloud's synergy skills and abilities at least once. We have a full synergy guide breaking these down, but you'll just need to unlock a few nodes on Cloud and Aerith's folios. For Cloud's folio, unlock Firework Blade, Melee Blade, Counter Fire, and all the needed prerequisites to get there. For Aerith, Unlock Bodyguard, Combat Savior, and United Refocus, and all of the needed prerequisites. Then it's just a matter of making sure you use each of those skills and abilities at least once. Synergy abilities that you haven't gotten the relationship bonus for yet will be marked with a yellow circle. 
If you don't have enough SP to unlock one of these, remember that you can respec your character's folios at any time, so you may be able to just get all your points back, beeline to what you need, and then use the skill or ability before switching back to how you had it before. Number 5. Just do more for Aerith. Remember that this is a list of all the things you can do, not all of the things you have to do. You just need Aerith to have a dark blue happy face above her for the normal date, and the light blue face for an intimate date. But she also has to be the highest in your party. If you're a completionist, there's a chance another character may be higher, so it could behoove you to avoid doing other characters' side quests until you finish the chapter 12 date with Aerith, and then go back and finish everything. Remember your promise to forsake all others. You can tap L1 to get a quick general read on where you stand with a character, but there's no way to look at it in detail until you finish the story. And if worse comes to worst, finishing the story also unlocks a chapter select, and you'll be able to get the date with whomever you wish. Thanks for watching, and for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth relationship info, check out our general guide on how to increase your relationship score with every character, or the aforementioned synergy guide. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.